Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Tuesday. Welcome back. I hope you're having a great day so far. It is another candle review day here on my channel. So up first is this um, adorably delicious banana berry smoothie from Homeworks. And a little bit later on this afternoon, I will be uploading my thoughts on the Kringle um, Country Candle Watermelon Pops fragrance, which was a new release for spring. So if you are not subscribed, make sure that you do that. And if you found this video helpful, I would love it if you would give it a thumbs up. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into my thoughts on the Banana Berry Smoothie, which for me, the fragrance itself is definitely a new sort of like, holy grail scent from Homeworks. Um, I, I love this fragrance, but that being said, this candle is suffering um, some of the same, well, the same problem that I've had with some of the other recent spring releases. Um, we'll get to that when we talk about the performance, but um, yeah, the I, I do want to acknowledge that there have been a lot of people who have had um, issues with strength and throw of their new spring candles. Um, some people have been dealing with a lot of wick issues. I have not been dealing with the wick issues. My main problem with a lot of these spring releases is that they are much lighter than what I have become accustomed to with Homeworks candles. Um, Harry's big thing when he first started Homeworks was these are house filling candles. Now he never really did identify like what style of house <laughs> or what size of house. Um, I mean, for me, I assumed like New York City townhouse size. Um, so, you know, should, should fill a decently large space, obviously. Um, and they were that for a number of years. But with these spring releases, um, the strength and throw has definitely gone down for me, which isn't like a massive problem because I'm usually always burning at least a couple candles at once. Not necessarily the same fragrance um, from the same company, but something that, you know, complements whatever else I have going. But it is disappointing to me and I do recognize that there's something happening. I don't know if there is a problem at the factory that he's using, um, if they are not going according to the formulations that Homeworks has in place, or if it's a problem with the wicks or the wax form. I have no idea what the issue is, but I do know that the strength and throw of the candles has definitely decreased. And that is disappointing because the price has gone up. And I, this has been my big beef with Bath and Body Works is they keep raising the prices, but the quality is not staying the same and it's certainly not increasing. Um, now, if the quality was what I was used to with Homeworks, I wouldn't mind the price point quite as much because I do understand that, you know, due to current, you know, economic situations happening, um, the price of a lot of things have gone up and that is frustrating. It's annoying. It's, um, it's not great, right? If you are a consumer of candles, which are a product that you purchase, you burn, <laughs> you're essentially like, you're lighting your money on fire, right? Like you could look at it that way. Um, but it's frustrating when you are paying more for something and you are not getting the quality that you're used to. So I really hope that whatever is happening with these spring candles is being reviewed and that changes are made and put in place before subsequent candles are poured and, you know, sent over to be shipped out for the late summer months or um heaven forbid even the fall months because you know i do think that based on the date on a lot of the bottoms of these candles so i'll show you let me just grab another homeworks candle here i'm going to show you on this limoncello cupcake where you can find out 
where, not where, but when your candle was poured. So pardon, I'm gonna come in front of the camera here. So do you see this F here? This means that this candle was poured in the fall. The 20 means that it was poured in the fall of 2020. And then, um, you know, these are, um, so it would have been 11, 18. So November 18th of 2020 is when this limoncello cupcake was poured. So you just look for that on the bottom of your candles. Um, and a lot of the spring candles, it looks like they were poured in the fall of 2021, like November of 2021 is what a lot of my candles are saying. So I have a feeling they are now probably starting to get into pouring the candles for this coming fall and holiday season. So whew, I hope they are able to course correct because I would really hate to see another season of a lot of like um, reviews where people are disappointed. So anyway, let's let's get into my thoughts on this particular scent. But I do I do want to acknowledge that yeah, there there are issues that people are having with a lot of the Homeworks candles right now, and I just really hope that the message is getting through to the Homeworks team and that they're able to reevaluate and like I said, course correct because I do think that that is important to maintain that brand loyalty from a lot of people. Um I know I have heard several people say that they are ready to just walk away from homeworks um, completely. I'm not there yet. Um, I've, I've said this before. A lot of the blends that Harry comes out with, I think, are some of the best on the market. He does gourmand better than anyone else, at least in my opinion. Um, and I would just hate to lose access to like some of my favorite types of fragrances. So really need homeworks to stick around. <laughs> I am very hopeful. I have my fingers and my toes crossed. I mean, I know I, I, I don't think it's Harry's intention to have this brand fail in any kind of way. So hopefully they can course correct. All right. Banana berry smoothie. What are the fragrance notes? What do I smell? Let's get into it. A blend of banana, cream or creme, raspberry swirl, fresh strawberry, and vanilla sugar. So what I smell from this is a delicious Jamba Juice <laughs> kids smoothie, <laughs> particularly Stella's favorite smoothie from Jamba Juice, which is their strawberry banana. Um, I It really has the most lovely creamy banana, strawberry, raspberry, vanilla concoction, fragrance. It, it smells amazing, you guys. I love the scent. Now, my friend Katie, um, she actually said that she did not like the scent, which was really surprising to me because to my nose, this smells exactly like a strawberry, banana, raspberry smoothie with a nice creamy vanilla base throughout. This is not an overly sweet fragrance. Um, I think it has just the right amount of sweetness to it. It's very pleasant. Um, I really love the fragrance itself. My daughter loves the fragrance. When I first got this one and I made her stick her nose in it, she was like, oh my God, it smells like my Jamba Juice. And I was like, right? That's exactly what it reminded me of too. So um, yeah, this is definitely a fragrance that for me is like holy grail status. I would love for the strength and throw to be fixed on strength and throw to be fixed on this one. That sounded like a really weird sentence to me. <laughs> but I would love for this to be reworked to where I can smell it better than I can currently. Now it's doing okay right now because I have it in my entryway, which is my fragrance vortex. But when I have this in other areas of the house, it was very light. Um, the airflow in, for example, my kitchen isn't super great. Um, the family room is kind of um, a little bit of a black hole where when I put a fragrance in there, it usually does quite well in the room, but it doesn't really leave or travel outside of that particular room. The entryway, however, is where a lot of candles go that I cannot get to um, 
throw in some of the other areas of the house. So she's doing okay here, but even this, I would like to see more from it in my entryway. So I'm putting the strength of this one only at about like a four and a half, five. And the throw is right now here, it's about a six, but I mean, if I have it in any of the other areas, it's a throw of like a four. Like it fills the room. I definitely can't smell it outside of the room. Um, I don't necessarily have to be standing right next to it to smell it, but I have to be within the room where it's burning to be able to smell it. And that is not what Homeworks candles are necessarily supposed to be. At least that was not, you know, the intention from when they were first released. These were quote unquote house filling candles. So we're not there. <laughs> we are at room filling candles, but that's not, I feel like that's not the claim to fame for Homeworks. So yeah. While I love the fragrance and I have all of my fingers and toes crossed that it'll come back, um, you know, I understand why some people are kind of irritated with this one. Now, I haven't had any issues with my wicks. I know there are some people that are losing wicks. Um, there are some people, I don't think it's the drowning wicks that's the problem. It's the fact that they lean over and then fall into the wax. Drowning wicks are where your wicks just kind of keep getting shorter and shorter and you get that puny wick syndrome. Um, but a lot of people's wicks are just straight up like falling over, even when they don't have a like super deep wax pool, which is a, which is a problem. And so, yeah, I just, I hate to like, I hate to be negative, but I always believe in giving constructive criticism and feedback, not only for you guys who are wanting to purchase these candles, um, but also just for the brands themselves. Like, I think I do these reviews as much for you guys as I do for the brands to hopefully get some feedback if they watch, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be like pompous enough to, you know, claim that, all of the candle companies that I review watch my stuff in all likelihood, probably not. But if by chance they do, I just, I love being able to give some constructive feedback that hopefully helps them figure out what the issue is. And I would encourage you guys to do the same thing. I don't think you have to have a YouTube channel to, um, to be able to review candles. You can go to the Homeworks website and you can review candles. You can go to QVC, you can go to Ulta, you can go to Kohl's. Those are all the different places where the Homeworks candles are sold. The Kohl's carries just the scent works, but um, yeah, you can review them pretty much anywhere and it doesn't take a ton of time. Just go and, you know, leave however many stars you think it deserves, but then also let them know what the problems are, whether it's drowning wicks, whether it's wicks that are falling over, whether it's a strength and throw issue. Um, and then also, you know, point out the positive, because if you really do like the scent, you should also let them know that so they don't like do away with the scent completely. Like if you want this to come back, say, I would love it to come back, but you need to tweak it because there's obviously some issues. So yeah, um, I don't know. I just, I think the more people that let the company know what the issues are, the better. But I think the way you go about it, and this is something that I've talked about in a couple of videos now, I think the approach that you use is really important. I know I really like feedback, but if someone comes at me in a super aggressive way, I am immediately like, nope. <laughs> not taking that feedback. And I'm not saying that that is something that a company should do, but I just think it's human nature to be open to, you know, some feedback, but to not have it um, be in a, in a nasty way. Th that's just, I don't know. I see so much nastiness, you guys. I am obviously online quite a bit between, you know, what I post on Instagram and what I post on my YouTube channel. I get so many nasty comments that are just so uncalled for. And like when I get stuff like that, that doesn't help me. <laughs> that doesn't
that doesn't help me. That just makes me think, oh my God, I have to block you from my channel because you're a jerk. <laughs> If you want to tell me that my camera quality maybe needs work or that I should maybe think about getting a microphone or something, that I can take and do something with. But, you know, like being just aggressive about something that one, doesn't really matter or two, like you come about it in a way that isn't constructive, like that just doesn't work for most people. And I think it goes the same for companies. So anyway, I don't want to lecture you guys. I just... I think we have to get the word out there and um, if you have these candles and you're having problems, if you don't have a YouTube channel, that's fine. Um, send them a DM on Instagram to uh, email the homeworks.shop website. Just get them the feedback in whatever way is easiest for you and um, hopefully we can get these issues fixed here in the coming seasons. Um, I am certainly hopeful for an amazing fall and winter from Homeworks this year. I cannot wait to see what they come out with, but I really hope that the old quality that I am used to with Homeworks comes back because I miss it. I miss it just as much as you guys do. So anyway, thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.